So in the last lecture, we learned about some field operators like dollar unset operator and dollar rename operator. Now let's talk about another useful option which we can pass to update one or update many method and that is upsert. Now what do we mean by upsert? Upsert is a combined operation of insert and update in MongoDB. It allows you to either update an existing document or insert a new document if it does not exist based on a specified query. So for example, let's say what we want is we want to filter all the documents where the name is Steve and for those documents we want to set the age to 20. We want to change the value of age field to 20 and we want to change the hobbies field to this array. Now if there is any document which exists with name Steve in that case that document will be updated with these values. But if the document does not exist in that case we want to insert a new document where the name will be Steve and where the age will be 20 and hobbies will be this hobbies array. So either if the document exists with the given filter criteria we will update it but if with the given filter criteria we don't find any document then we are going to insert a new document with the fields which we have specified in the filter criteria and the fields which we have specified for this dollar set. And for that we can use this option called upsert. We need to set this upsert to true if we want to update an existing document or if we want to insert a new document. So when this upsert is true by default it will be false but when you set it to true in that case if a given document exists it will be updated otherwise a new document will be inserted. Let's see this in action. So let's go ahead and let's query our employees collection. In this employees collection we have five documents where we have named John Doe, Jane Smith, Michael Johnson, Mary Smith and John Smith. Now let's say I want to update a document in the employees collection so for that I'll say dv employees dot update one here I'm using update one but you can also use update many in there I'm going to specify the filter criteria so for the filter criteria let's say name is John Doe okay and then let's specify the document with which we want to update it for that I'm going to use dollar set and there I want to update the age field to 34 currently if you see for John Doe age field is not there so in this case it will be added and let's also set the hobbies and here let's say hobbies is sports and running okay now here I'm not setting the upsert option so by default it will be false in this case it will find a document with this name and there it will update these fields so let me copy this command let's paste it here and let's run this command so you will see match count is one modified count is one let's go ahead and let's query the employees collection one more time and now you will see for that document where the name is John Doe the hobbies has changed to sports and running and age field has been added with the value 34 now if I try to find a document where the name is let's say Steve Smith we don't have any document in this collection where the name is Steve Smith so what will happen in that case let's see that let's copy this let's paste it here and let's go ahead and let's press enter so you will see that the match count is zero it did not find any document where the name is Steve Smith and the modified count is also zero so there will be no change in the employees collection and this has happened because by default the upsert is false but if I go ahead and if I add upsert so that will be the third argument of this update one method or update many method so there I am going to set upsert to true in this case if the document is not found a new document will be inserted where the name will be Steve Smith and there we will have age and hobbies field let me copy this command let's clear the shell and let's paste that command and if I press enter you will notice that match count is zero it did not find any document where the name is Steve Smith modified count is zero because it cannot modify a document which does not exist but the upserted count is one that means one new document has been inserted here 
if we go ahead and if we query the employees collection you will see that there is one new document which has been added in there we have name agent hobbies field and also the object id so this agent hobbies field we specified here that's why it has been created but this name field has been added because we were trying to find the document based on this name field so that's why that field with that value is also added in the newly inserted document and this is what upsert means if a document is found it will be updated otherwise a new document will be inserted with the specified fields so i hope now you understand what do we mean by upsert this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day